Welcome to DIYEasyCrafts.com. Today we're going to take a look at how to make a ocean wave resin picture frame. Now I've made quite a few uh, of these ocean wave resin projects recently, uh, really just because I had the resin and it's so easy to do um, and, the, and the end results can be really spectacular. I've made a bunch of uh, serving boards or cutting boards, and I have videos on each one of these projects. I'll, I'll put links. Um, I made these um, drink coasters with uh, floor tiles. I even made a custom knife with ocean wave resin handles. Uh, but today we're going to do a picture frame. So I, I found this very affordable frame at Home Goods. It's just basically a, a plain white frame. Uh, I think it was it was actually just under eight dollars. Now, these projects, I'm using um, a product from TotalBoat.com called Maker Epoxy, uh, combined with a variety of different uh, colors, you know, basically a dark blue, a light blue, a green, a white, and clear. Now, when you're working with this epoxy, it's a one-to-one -one mixture by volume, so it's easy to mix. You have to, um, it has to be room temperature at about 70 degrees. You want to mix it thoroughly for about five minutes stirring it very slowly so you don't create a lot of, of bubbles in the mix. And then I just subdivided that uh, into a few um, plastic uh, glasses with the different uh, dyes in them. So I've got the dark blue, the light blue, the green, etc. Now when I started to coat the glass, um, right away I realized that the dark blue uh, was not opaque enough. It was too transparent. So I, I mixed a little bit more dye into the mix and then I'm going to apply the dark blue just with a disposable paintbrush. Um, this is not the only way to do it. You could put it on there with a stick. You know, it doesn't really matter. Uh, the end results are going to be about the same. I just find it, it's, it's easier for me to control um, the larger portions of the resin with a brush. This is a very simple and very quick project. Um, after the base dark blue is down, I'm going to put a line of the lighter blue right along that edge. And you can tailor this to, to whatever photo you're going to have. So you might want this wave to cover the bottom edge of the photo or the top edge, or you could have this going um, just across the bottom and not on the corner. Uh, and, and the same process will work with almost any type of photo, uh, photo frame. Um, I use the brush again just to merge the two different color blues together. So you have darker blue all the way up in the corner and then it gets a little bit lighter. This is my first attempt at using this epoxy resin on glass. So I was kind of eager to see you know, how it would come out and, and how well it would adhere to the glass. So I put a strip of the green right along the edge of the blue. And believe me when I say you don't have to have much artistic ability in order to get good results with these ocean waves. Now I'm going to leave a little bit of a space and then I'm going to leave, um, I'm going to drizzle some clear. And then the next step, except for the fact that I, I spilt some of the clear on the uh, clear portion of the glass, um, I ended up just using a little bit of uh, rubbing alcohol. I have it in a spray bottle just to clean up that, uh, that little bit of resin that had uh, inadvertently dripped onto uh, the glass in an area where I don't want any resin. So fortunately, it's easy to clean up. So the last step in applying the resin is, is going to be the white. And the white you want to apply just uh, to the edge of the clear so that when you uh, blow the white, it's actually going to blow on top of the clear. Now I'm going to add a, a little bit more white, uh, almost like, a, like an offshore wave. And I'm going to, in the past, when I did the cutting boards and, and, uh, and even the, the uh, drink coasters, I always used a uh, hair dryer to blow the waves. But for this project, I'm just going to use, it's not a straw, it's actually the pen casing off of a big pen. You know, I pulled the, uh, the pen insides out and I'm just blowing through that. I, I find that using this, you know, 
makeshift straw just gives me a little bit more control over the direction of each wave so that I can, I can, the end result will just look a little bit more realistic. It probably takes a, you know, a few minutes longer to do it this way. Um, and you, and you have to have a little <laughs> a good wind to do it. Uh, but, but I, I really think that the waves actually came out better, you know, spending a little bit more time and, um, manually blowing them with this, uh, with this straw or, or big pen casing rather than the hairdryer. Now, I did use a hairdryer after I had the waves uh, in, in the position that I wanted them. I didn't hold the, the hairdryer that close. You really just want to warm uh, the resin with the hairdryer and that kind of activates the resin so that it will create those really nice uh, cell structure into the frothy white. You could also accomplish the same thing with a, a butane lighter. You could just warm up that resin a little bit. Now, after the resin dried overnight, um, I cleaned up the couple of drips of resin uh, that got onto the back of the glass uh, just with a razor knife. And, you know, it was a, a little bit difficult to get that off. So in hindsight, if I do this again, I'll probably put a little painter's tape right along the edge on the back of the glass. But I'm very uh, impressed at not only how the wave came out, but how, how well this Maker Poxy um, resin attached to the glass. So assembling the picture frame is nothing is nothing new. This is just a standard uh, picture frame. As I mentioned before, this one uh, was very affordable. I found it at, at Home Goods, and, and actually I wish I had bought a couple more now. Uh, so I just reassembled the picture. In this particular case, I'm offsetting the picture just so that I, um, the wave just covers the bottom right corner. But the end result I was very happy with. You know, really cool looking uh, nautical ocean wave resin picture frame. It's a very easy project, a very affordable project. If you've never worked with resin before, uh, you know, any of these ocean wave projects are a really good place to start. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this short little video. Uh, if you did, I ask that you please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this YouTube channel. Uh, I'd like to give you an invite to uh, check out my other nautical uh, projects and, and ocean wave projects. Uh, those are on the website, www.diyeasycrafts.com. And I would absolutely love it if you took the time and left a comment in the comments section below. Thank you very much.